everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Grid Review. My name is Luke, just in case you do not know. This is an episode of Companies Respond, and today for this episode, my response comes from Sierra Designs and their PR company. Within the last couple of months, I did a review of the Sierra Designs Crescent two-person tent, which is available only at Target. I purchased that tent with my own money. I set it up here at Lone Wolf. We took a look at it together. The quality seemed good, but I was very concerned about the overall waterproofness of the shelter. It featured one of the lowest hydrostatic head ratings of any tent I have ever seen. I believe it was 600. So I was concerned about that. I took the tin out for some rain testing and it performed absolutely terrible. It filled with water. It performed very poorly. So my review of that tent was not very positive. Here we have this tent that the company claims can be used for backpacking and whatnot. And yet it's not waterproof. It will not keep you dry. Essentially making the product a waste of money. So I ended my review there. And sometime later, Sierra Designs has responded. I was talking with a woman through their PR company, through Sierra Designs PR company. And I will paraphrase everything that was shared with me, touching upon the most important of topics. I am reaching out to you in regards to the review of the Sierra Designs Crescent two-person tent. It is safe to say that your feedback caught the attention of the Sierra Designs product development team, which spurred several internal conversations about weather proofing. After additional research and testing, the team agrees that the Sierra Designs Adventure Out tents sold at Target are not up to our brands high standards. Moving forward, Sierra Designs will be doubling the hydrostatic head rating of these tents from 600 to 1200 millimeters. And that will be done on all of the Adventure Out Target tents. And this will better align the brand's commitment to excellence. These changes will be reflected in the 2021 product collection. The next line, the next sentence, is the most important part, and I really want you all to focus on this. Sierra Designs believes that adventures should be within the reach of everyone, and that starts with affordable gear. Like you mentioned in your review, budget-friendly options are essential to increasing participation in the outdoors. Sierra Designs recognizes this. Sierra Designs recognizes that cost is a barrier when it comes to participation in the outdoors, and strives to make gear more accessible through the Adventure Out Collection with Target. Ultimately, it is the brand's goal to make the outdoors more attainable for all without sacrificing quality that Sierra Designs is known for. Keep in mind what I said was the most important part of that message, and let's move on to my response. As for the Crescent 2 tent, I really appreciate the email and the insights concerning the changes that are being made, and I know that everyone who desires to go into the outdoors will as well. They will appreciate those changes, in other words. It is an interesting time within the industry, with more companies than ever looking to provide inclusive products. And because of that, it's more important than ever for these products to be of a good quality. To share a story with you all, recently Walmart and Moose Jaw launched their Lithic line of outdoor products. And their marketing push behind this brand, behind the Lithic brand, is to be more inclusive to lower economic levels, groups, and ethnic groups. And the problem is this. Just about every single product that I've tested from this company, from Walmart, Moose Jaw, as part of the Lithic line, has had serious problems. Their tent had an issue with the pull clips. They would break, and it was taken off of the market. The backpack, the frame is absolutely worthless. It bows when you have it loaded up and you're wearing it and it becomes incredibly uncomfortable. The sleeping bag loses feathers and it wouldn't keep you warm at the targeted temperature range. The point of this story, which I shared with the PR company, is this. If a company is going to make products and offer them at a lower cost, at a lower price, the quality has to be there. No one should be wasting their money and also no one should be putting their lives at risk by taking these products into the wild. So that takes us to where we are right now. Sierra Designs is making some corrections to this tent. They are going to make it more waterproof. And this is a good thing because there is a true need for budget-friendly options when it comes to outdoor gear. Not just backpacking, but just outdoor gear in general. If you want to grab a tent, throw it in the car, go to a campground, pitch that tent, you should stay dry if a shower comes in, if a thunderstorm comes in. Going back to the most important aspect of their email, Sierra Designs believes that adventures should be within the reach of everyone. Everyone is the key word, in my opinion. I completely agree with this statement that adventure should be open and available to everyone. 2020 is the year of the word inclusive. You see this word being thrown around by everyone, including Walmart, Moose Jaw, now we have Sierra Designs. This sounds good in theory, right? Inclusive, we're making products for everybody, that's awesome. 
But if you take a look at these products, most of them are junk. Most of them I can't recommend. And that's the biggest problem. Here you have these companies making products for everyone that simply do not perform as well as they need to, as they should. Talking about being inclusive to different ethnic groups and economic levels and then providing junk products is so wrong on so many levels. If these companies have to raise the prices, raise the cost of these products, then do it. If that's what you have to do to make a good product, then do it. A good quality product that costs $150 is better than a bad product that costs 60 bucks. Quality has to come first. And from the sounds of it, Sierra Designs realizes this. It's unfortunate that we had to go through all of this for it to happen, but I'm glad that it has. Sierra Designs, a message to you all. Please make high quality products for everyone. The products that you turn out need to be good. People need to rely on them. So um, good luck, Sierra Designs. Again, I wish you all the best. You know, folks, this is a company that I've followed for many years. I like their products, their tents, their designs, their products, sleeping bags, backpacks are generally really well thought out. They think outside of the box, they come up with new designs and I like that. And within the outdoor space, that is so rare. Most companies simply copy each other. It's the same product over and over and over, but not with Sierra Designs. They think outside of the box and they really do make some unique products. Ultimately, you need to provide a good quality product or simply you will not make it in this field. And that's because of individuals like myself, individuals who are 100% agenda free, who say it how it is, who test these products out and share that information with our viewers. And that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Companies Respond. What do you all think about the remarks from Sierra Designs? I am excited to see what happens next year, 2021. Sierra Designs recognizes that changes need to be made, and that's great. But at the time of filming this episode, the Crescent two-person tent and the other tents are still available on the market. I do not recommend them. If you're watching this episode and you've been considering one, I would recommend not buying one. If you're using it out in the desert where it's never going to rain, okay, it will keep the bugs out. But all in all, I do not recommend them even if there's a slight chance of precipitation. Again, good luck Sierra Designs. Everybody else, I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. What do you all think about this response? Everyone, take care, strength and honor. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye. I came from the mud, desert on my Catch me howling at the moon